Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and today I just wanted to go over Black Clover opening 5. So, this one is not heavy in like the symbolism as like the first and second one. However, I still wanted to go over it in like my Black Clover breakdown series a little bit. And I think this one's just going to be me more gushing over just the animation because the animation is amazing. So as you just saw, I muted this because I don't want to get copyright claimed. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Anyways, let's just kind of jump into it. I'm playing uh, regular, well, yeah, I'll play some regular speed for now. So we just kind of get... Uh, flashes of Asta and uh, everybody else in the Black Bull. Just kind—it's of, all into the beat of the music, so it's really cool. We get this really cool fire animation that gets. Literally, this entire video will just be me like, "It's this is cool." I like this shot here of Asta leaning against the wall with the sun coming down, um, because this is really indicative of the moment in time where he's really down on himself because he's lost both of his arms and I kind of want to say that the sun kind of represents the black bulls in their search to bring uh, to find an answer or find a cure for his broken arms so I really that and this is just like a really cool shot I'm just gonna back it up a little bit and just show you so it's just overall stunning animation. Once again, Noelle's doing the same thing as um, she could also be just straight up worrying for him because that's just, you know, that's kind of Noelle's character at this point. She worries about Asta a lot. Now we're going to get uh, Finral. You're going to kind of see a, a constant theme in this opening now that I just think about it of people being slightly depressed which is interesting because this took place after the final battle against uh vado so yeah i'm actually going to i wasn't i was going to play normal or play normal speed but now now that i'm actually talking about this video i am going to slow it down just a little bit so get that stunning image so yeah we have just this cool effect of just uh noel looking up into the side so we've got charmy running by and you'll see gray later on but we have finral and the reason why finral is down is mainly because finral is he he's kind of failing his brother that's that's kind of his mo his his thing is that his brother is gonna his little brother is going to be the head of his family and fennel doesn't feel like he's living up to the expectations set by his family in fact he doesn't feel like he's set up or he's living by anyone's expectations in a way so that's kind of a theme that is present in this but we have, you know, Grey chasing after Charmy. We have this shot of young Vanessa when she's caged up in uh, Fairyland. And so, once again, another kind of uh, illustration of a character who's really feeling down on their luck. And, and this is a way of j just portraying Vanessa's past. And uh, I really like the the bars in the background because it really does make her feel caged which i mean she literally was so really cool imagery and it's just kind of like this reflection of the past which you know both finral and vanessa go through then we get a shot of this guy whose name i forget and didn't bother to look up because he's only present in this arc this is Asta's mentor. He's the one that taught Asta how to use his sword, and he uh, goes with Asta to the fairyland. Then we get a shot of this lady. She's leaning against the wall. She's the one who was initially betraying 
Asta's master. She was, uh, yeah, she was betraying him. And then she kind of has her own little redemption arc, which is really cool. But I think that's why she's in half shadow here is because she's got kind of a dark past that she's dwelling on. Once again, as you've noticed, this is an opening that's very prevalent, that she prevalently shows how depressed everybody is, or just kind of their more negative emotions, which I really appreciate, um, because it, it's still a hyped anime, which you'll think, oh, I didn't even remember that, that scene, where uh, she turns and faces the sun, and... I almost want to say that this son could also represent Asta, because if you remember, Asta was baked in son, so either it could represent Asta, or it could represent Hope, which that could also be, that could really be the, the theme of light in this opening, is the theme of Hope. Because Asta isn't looking at the son in the beginning, and then he does later on. And here, she's in shadow, she's not in hope, and then she looks towards the sun. I'm actually kind of liking that more. I'm The more I think about it, the more I think it is going to the light's about hope. So, we go on. Then we've got the shot of uh, Yuno walking with, what was that, Longris and Vengeance? Yes, Longris and Vengeance. So, here, here's what's interesting. So, there are... You can see that they're walking in front of this window, which uh, I guess, like I said, if I want to keep with the theme of hope, uh, they're shadowed as in like uh, they're, they may be the bringers of not hope. OK, that does sound kind of clunky, but um, as you, even in this shot, if you see uh Longris and Vengeance are the ones that are engulfed in this light, whereas you know is still off to the side. So basically, this could kind of this could also, I guess, foreshadow uh, basically Vengeance and Longris turning into elves or their elven sides it could also reference their dark sides that are that really come up towards the uh you know that kind of tournament arc followed by the eye of the midnight sun uh arc so the i i just now that i'm looking at it that that is actually really cool just kind of how the light is visualizing that so we have that and then we get a close-up of Yuno, actually right after he passed the window. And it's almost like he sensed something here. He's like, wait a minute, something's not right with these two. Um, but he looks up. And then uh, we get this nice transition of the Fairy Queen, who is looking down at a much older Vanessa. And uh, behind her, the ground, uh, the wall explodes. This is where it kind of, uh, all, all the... Um, symbolism goes away and we just get some really cool action sequences so yeah she's looking down because vanessa was pleading with her to do the back explodes and we have both uh noel finral and asa bleeping in then we get the shot of uh that was longris it looks like longris was using like a rock type magic but what he's really doing is destroying the rock and this is the battle of like the diamond kingdom against the clover kingdom that was like on an outpost early on so it's just kind of referencing that battle how uh you know went up against this lightning dude and what's cool then we get this shot of this guy who uh i, I think his oh i'm blanking on his name as well um i think it starts with the v uh yeah, I'm blinking on his name because he only shows up in this arc for the most part. And he's like the head bad guy-ish besides the queen. But yeah, you know, this is just him showing off his uh, powers and just kind of when he, I guess, reflected magic. Because that's kind of his power. He just reflects magic back at people. So we have Asta who hits it back, being all awesome. 
and we got this really cool shot of Asta charging at him, and he does the, his black meteorite attack a little bit. Then we got this shot of Fauna, and she's standing alone looking at the light, kind of representing how she's, uh, if I'm going with, I guess, the light being maybe more atone or more about the elves, you know how uh, Longris and Vengeance were, were encased in light by that window. In a way, this could also be showing that Fauna is uh, has that elven nature towards her, and this could be foreshadowing that as she looks straight on at the in the light. Um, and then we've got this cool shot of Noel as she sends out her sea dragon. I think it's. It's just the Sea Dragon King. And she attacks Fauna. And Fauna opens up her third eye as she is about to go psycho mode. And then we get this really cool shot of um, Mars as he's going up to Fauna. Because Fauna was a childhood friend that he killed back, you know, back when he was a tool for the Diamond Kingdom. And so this is just kind of like... I, I'm really enjoying the emotion that's really displayed on his face as he's trying to bring her back. And then we get this cool shot of Vanessa realizing her fate's magic because that's that's in representation of the cat. So, right here. So, yeah, the cat, it's uh, basically that's her new spell that allows her to change the fate of her friends so it's that's a really really cool thing uh, just kind of ability and the cat looks adorable because of course it does but it's this it, it kind of shows we see like the thread of fate i suppose you can call it here and that really just kind of makes we get to see realization in vanessa's eyes as she starts to realize that she doesn't have to live the way that she has been you know caged in her feelings caged in her past type deal so that's really really cool and she's once again looking into the light everyone and and if i'm going with the the analogy that the light means hope we've got now young mars and young fauna looking into the light which uh, could mean that their their hope they're hoping for their future once again uh, and kind of like how Vanessa was looking into the light in that previous scene it's also like she's seeing hope so just really cool imagery they're looking then we've got Asta going into his demon form I believe this is the first instance of him of us seeing it and it's really intense and we only see his right side so we it kind of brings us the viewer wondering is he gonna get taken over by this demon magic or this demon form then we've got Nero uh, swooping down and landing on Asta's head and then we get a nice uh, still shot of all the black bulls you know yeah I don't need to go through every one of them at this point we all know who they are so that is the end to this video that is the end to this so i wasn't expecting this to be as much of a breakdown as possible if you've noticed in the beginning um because i i even watched this video a couple times uh before recording this and i was like okay i as i was watching it i was like okay it has some really cool imagery has some really cool shots but it didn't seem like there was anything more than that but really, I really liked some of that potential symbolism that's present in here. And I'm really liking the, the, uh, like the symbolism of hope that's present in the light. So I'm, I'm actually really glad that I ended up breaking this down. However, this video is going on for about 15 minutes, so I'm going to call it here. I've been the Anime Over Analyst, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.